Should we do our thumbnail now? I don't know what items I want to hold up for my thumbnail. Do I hold up the sauce? Do I go like that? Hi my loves, welcome back. And if you're new here, welcome. And to everybody, welcome to my humble abode. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a ton of my Amazon favorites from home, beauty, apparel, accessories, and everything in between. I love watching these, so I thought it might be fun to film one. I haven't done one in a really, really long time. So I am way overdue. And girl, over the past year, I have been doing a ton of Amazon shopping, okay? If I don't need it today, if I could wait until tomorrow to get something, I Amazon Prime it and it's at my doorstep instead of me having to leave my apartment and go out into that scary, scary world. Um, future Angela here. Just a note, when you check my description box for these links, there won't be separate links. I feel like they just get so jumbled down there. And then you're opening a bunch of different tabs. So there is one link, to my Amazon storefront and my items are organized by type as well as by video. So if you wanna know like what kind of jewelry I'm loving, check the jewelry tab. Or if you wanna see all the items together from this video, just click the link and then it'll be under my Amazon favorites list. But that's why I forgot to tell you that before. You know, it's just, and now the lighting situation has changed and I can't even pretend like I said it in the moment. So I have to be honest here. Okay, back to our regularly scheduled programming, okay? But before we get into it, of course, I have to give my Angel Alert Army shout out. So today's Angel Alert Army shout out goes to Olivia Cherish. Hey girl, hey. I am so appreciative of all of your love and support, so I had to show it right back. And if you want to be featured in my next video, all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel, click the little notification bell, and retweet the tweet that's pinned at the top of my Twitter. And, you know, maybe you'll get a shout out in the next one. But without further ado, darling, let's get into today's video. It is tradition to start off with what I'm wearing and I am decked head to toe in Amazon baby. So let's start off with this sweatshirt you guys saw. Sorry about the lighting in here. It's very temperamental. So let's start off with my crew neck sweatshirt that is very much so Kanye inspired. I'm completely obsessed. You guys saw it in my last vlog when I unboxed it and ever since then I've been wearing it nonstop. I actually wore it out the other day and I got so many compliments on it and somebody even was like, I love your Yeezy hoodie. And I was like, thank you. I mean, if you're gonna make an assumption like that, who am I to stop you, you know? That's why you should never make assumptions about people because they might just be wearing a dupe from Amazon for $40, okay? But who needs to know that? So yeah, I'm completely obsessed. It's such a good, heavy material. I have one similar from Zara that I paid more for that I don't like nearly as much as this one. I'm definitely gonna get more colors in this. 10 out of 10. I am also wearing these triple strand earrings. So for the longest, this size was sold out, so I got the smaller size. But as soon as it went back in stock, I was like, add to cart, and I'm so glad I did. These are absolutely stunning. I actually have so many earrings from Amazon. It's like, why spend a bag on jewelry when you could just get it from Amazon, and if you lose it, you lose it. It's not a big deal, right? Or is it just me? Do you guys actually take care of your jewelry? Because I don't. And normally the only piece of jewelry I wear is my Zuko necklace, but I've really been getting into jewelry thanks to Amazon. It's also like nice to be able to try trends without spending an arm and a leg. So yeah, these earrings were like super cheap. What else am I wearing? Oh, while I have you guys up close and personal, my lashes are also from Amazon. It is 2021. We are no longer spending $30 on a pair of mink eyelashes. I know that's right. Say it with me. We are no longer spending $30 on a pair of eyelashes. Why spend $30 on a pair of eyelashes when you can get a pack of like 20 for $10? Please tell me. Please tell me. Where's the pack, by the way? Let me grab it. These are the eyelashes I am wearing. They come packaged in this little thing. I just saved it for this video. I'm about to toss it right now. But these are more of a natural cat eye. I'm really into the feline look right now because I like a more lifted appearance. You guys know that. I gave the dramatic lashes a chance and they are cool. 
for special occasions but whenever i do my makeup i prefer a natural lash and look how many pairs come in here like you just can't go wrong i also have one of these bad boys in my hair right now i'm actually wearing the matte black one holding up my bun these clips are the cheat code i recently posted this photo on instagram and you guys want to know how i did my hair and all i did was put it up in a ponytail flip it upside down and then clip it for that like waterfall pony type of vibe it was giving very much sexy secretary and we love to see it this lighting is going to be the death of me. So these bad boys come in a pack of four. It has a baby pink one, an orangey peach one, an olive green one, and I'm wearing the matte black right now. I use these. Why am I doing that with my fingers? I use these to blow dry my hair, to style my hair. These are especially good if you have extensions. I legit have 10 bundles in my hair, and this holds up every single strand and ponytails are all fine and dandy but i feel like sometimes they tug at my hair i feel like these cause less stress on my hair when i want my hair up out of my face without tying it in a ponytail i feel like ponytails can be kind of rough on my hair so just being able to throw my hair up it just feels amazing sweetie okay i think that's it for what i'm wearing mm. okay let's get into some tech stuff if you guys didn't know i take 99 percent of my own photos the other one percent is taken by my sister my mom whatever guy i'm with at the time and that's pretty much it and i don't really do photo shoots because i had a really bad experience with a photographer when i was a bottle service girl if you want that story time let me know i just don't want it to be like a trigger for anybody but yeah, I had a really bad experience with a photographer. And ever since then, I have never done a photo shoot unless I absolutely had to for like a TV show. But as far as my Instagram photos go, I did do a photo shoot when I was in Mexico last year. But my boyfriend at the time was like standing right next to the photographer. So I felt safe. Other than that, I don't do any photo shoots, especially alone. So I've had to get creative with my equipment to get the quality of my photos to look the way they do. And one thing that has been a complete game changer for me is this portable LED light. And it's completely adjustable. There's numbers in the back. You can turn it up, turn it down. Sorry, I don't want this to be shining in your guys' face right now. This is actually meant to be mounted on top of a camera, but it is so perfect for dark lighting situations like if you're in a parking garage or even at night when you're trying to get a good shot and the flash on your phone just isn't enough what i have my sister do for me is hold up the light and then take the photo with my iphone and the photos come out amazing and they're perfectly lit this is also perfect to go on vacation you don't know how many times i've lugged around a ring light on vacation just to get a good picture and it's like, we're not doing that anymore. Let, let's just not. It's really, really light and easy to use. It also comes with these removable diffusers in a bunch of different colors. I don't really use these. I use this one or I just remove it and just use this by itself. But complete game changer as well as this next guy right here, which is my phone stand. You know, I can't live with this light over here. I'm sorry. I just have to, I have to fix this. Please hold please hold okay i'm back and it's like a completely different time zone now welcome to new Jersey. it's not it's still there next up we have this phone stand well actually it's a tablet stand but i use it for my phone because i don't have an ipad but look at this beauty right here for the longest time i was using a selfie stick that kind of transformed into a phone tripod type of situation but it was so flimsy every time i like breathed too hard i thought it was going to topple over but not this bad boy right here this guy has a sturdy base definitely has some weight to it and what i like about this is that it's adjustable and not only that it's easy to insert your phone in and take it out as well because it has these like little pulleys on the back you don't know how many times I've pinched my fingers on those other types of phone holders where it's like you physically have to go like like that and then you're and then as soon as you let go like your whole entire finger is chopped off. It also swivels so you can get your good angles. I use this to take my Instagram pictures to film TikToks and I even use it as my desk just to like scroll through my phone when I'm on my computer this guy has changed my life when i go away i use this to watch netflix because it's like the perfect height 
you know? And it's cute too. Like I, I just leave this out on my desk and it goes with my decor, so love that for me next up we have something that i never thought i'd be talking about but here we are now i know a lot of youtubers and tiktokers are on the hunt for the next big product because they want to be the reason it blows up so they try to sell you these gadgets and doodads that you'll use once and then never use again but not this one <laughs> this is an immersion blender there's a bunch of other like cute pink you know, frilly ones on Amazon that honestly, they don't look like they do anything. But this one is one powerful as mother It comes with three attachments. I have the whisk on right now. I use a different attachment to mix my matcha. If you drink matcha and make your own at home, you know the struggle of getting those lumps out of your matcha. This takes out all of the arm work, completely obsessed. I will insert a video here. For this specific matcha recipe, all I did was put a teaspoon of matcha in a cup, some water, blend it up really quick with my handheld blender. Then I mix in some blueberry lavender almond milk from Trader Joe's, chef's kiss, some creamer. Of course, I ran out of coconut whipped cream for this video, perfect timing, and some ice. And I've been drinking that more than I've been drinking coffee. I'm actually drinking it right now. This immersion blender has replaced my Ninja as well as my bowl mixer. I have a huge like Cuisinart bowl mixer that is literally getting no use because I use this for literally everything, okay, everything. Next up, while we're on kitchen items, did you know Amazon sells Chick-fil-A sauce? Cause I didn't until I went to my friend's house in Texas in like, I think it was like September, and she whipped these out and I was like, <laughs> In New Jersey, Jersey is extremely whack. We don't have Chick-fil-A here like everybody else on earth does. So I'm completely obsessed when I go anywhere, I have to go to Chick-fil-A. These sauces make anything you make taste like Chick-fil-A. I'm completely obsessed. So I have the original Chick-fil-A sauce, which comes in a pack of two. And then I also have the Polynesian sauce. Every time I make chicken, I use those sauces. And if I don't use these sauces, I'm using the Truff hot sauces. These were Oprah's favorite things a couple years back. And ever since then, I have been hooked on these. The white truffle is actually my favorite, but the black truffle is also amazing as well. And they have like this super hot one, but it literally makes me feel like my whole life is on fire when I eat it. So these are my go-tos. Just had to throw those in there because I eat those every single day. Like no joke. So I have an entire video trying on Amazon scrunch butt leggings. They have been all the rage. Is that how we're even, is that how we even talk anymore? All the rage. They have been TikTok famous for quite some time now, but I had to mention them again because I wear them so, so often. And these ones are my favorite. They look so tiny, but these are a size medium. And I've seen a lot of people with, you know, small booties and small booties do matter. Small booties matter, okay? But a lot of my small booty babies have been complaining that these leggings don't do anything for them. And I'm almost a million percent sure that the reason why these are not giving what they're supposed to give for you is because you're getting the wrong size. Do not be afraid to size up. You don't want this back part to be stretched out because the legging is too tight on you. You want that extra fabric to really get up in there and... You know, if you bought these leggings before and they didn't work out for you, I highly recommend you just doing something as simple as going up a size. No one's going to see the tag. Okay, I promise you. I promise you. If you have to get a medium or a large or whatever size, no one will know except for you. Okay? I mean, the entire internet knows my size, but it's because I've made that public, you know? But you don't have to do that. It's okay. Go up a size. It'll be fine. These are my favorites. I have so many pairs of them now. They come with me everywhere, period. I mean, I have a whole video on them. Go check it out. Whoa. Whoa. So a couple of days ago, I posted a vlog where I was barely wearing makeup the entire time and you guys were so incredibly sweet and gassing me up about how good my skin looks and thank you so much but it's not all me okay I have to give credit where credit is due and my girl Paula 
she did that ever since i've been using paula's choice my skin has completely transformed my texture has improved i had this like weird strawberry skin dry crusty type of situation going on for such a long time and ever since i added these two babies to my regimen every morning and night i feel so confident without makeup so what i do every morning and night is i wash my face what do i do okay i wash my face i apply my toner and then i go in with my two percent bha liquid exfoliant because this gets deep into your pores and unclogs them it improves skin texture smooths and even skin tone this is this is what goes deeper okay and then once this is dry i go in with my eight percent aha gel which is more of like a surface exfoliator that smooths wrinkles and fine lines refines and even skin tone and then when i'm done with that i apply a serum and my moisturizer and my skin has never looked better i'm telling you run don't walk run don't walk to get those i apply those with my reusable cotton rounds they come in a bag like this i'm almost through with mine um they're all dirty i have not had to repurchase cotton rounds in forever because these guys come in a pack of 30 okay and they have three different kinds they have the charcoal one the exfoliating like terry cloth one and then the regular just cotton round these are washable so long gone are the days of having to store a long tube of cotton rounds and just throwing them away as you go not only is it not good for the environment but it's so expensive to keep repurchasing i've had these for like six months i use them every single day when they're dirty i just throw them in this bag tie it up throw it in the wash with my towels and good as new i have fresh cotton rounds again so these are phenomenal sweetie if you're into saving the environment or if you just don't like the feeling of cotton rounds like honestly i hate the sound of cotton it's like nails on a chalkboard to me it's like not my thing at all i'm so disgusted like i'm oh my God. But when it comes to cotton it's like oh i can't these are soft they don't make that scrunchy scratchy sound and i mean what's better than that next up we have body lotion but this is no ordinary body lotion okay this is a complete game changer if you have painfully dry skin like i do when i get out of the shower i feel like my body is going to crack open that's how dry my skin is it's itchy it's painful it's not fun this lotion not only puts that moisture back in my skin it gives me this like glowing sheen that i didn't know was even possible with my dry skin i mean this is amazing on its own but my secret okay is i mix this lotion with bio oil now this is empty i want to show you that i actually use this because i hate when people like buy stuff and you could tell that they've never touched it and they're trying to sell it to you like i'm on to you i mix these two together my skin has never looked better i used to have strawberry skin eczema bumps i could never get a smooth enough shave because my skin was just so like ugh. But these two together, I'm going to do a little demo right now because I haven't applied lotion just for this video. That's dedication, okay? So my skin is extremely dry right now. So what I do is I take a pump of my lotion. Actually, I still have like a drop left in here, so I'm just going to put this on. And then I put a few drops of bio oil, mix it up, and then apply it to my skin. Oh, it feels so amazing. I want you guys to see the difference, okay? You ready? Look at that! Dry and crusty, glowy and radiant. Hello. Oh, it just feels so, so nice. And this is also what gives me my glow that you guys see on my Instagram. Oh, finally. Oh. If you guys didn't know about bio oil, it helps improve the appearance of both new and old scars, helps improve the appearance of stretch marks, improves uneven skin tone, helps smooth and tone the appearance of aging skin. There's just so many benefits to bio oil. So I was like, why don't I just mix it in with my moisturizer and see what happens? Amazing thing, sweetie. Amazing things. Another thing you need right now. Is that it? Holy shit. 
I think that's all I have for you guys. I mean, I have so many favorites, but I just, this video would be 10 hours long, you know? But these are products that you like need right now. You need to add all these to your cart because you'll be thanking me. Like, trust me. <laughs> like, seriously, like, I would never steer you wrong. Period. Don't forget to check the la 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 la. Don't forget to check the description box for a direct link to my Amazon storefront where you could see all these items plus many many more that I would love to talk about. But the video would be ten hours long, and you will definitely see those in a future video. So if you want to get on it right now, you know, if you want to be ahead of the game, all those items are there, and I add items almost daily. So keep checking that link. But that is all I have for you guys for today. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.